Hey, breaking news. Uh, Love Air private jet tracked out. So Sean Diddy, is that his name, Diddy? Chris. Is that what they call him, Diddy? He's just Diddy? Thank you, Chris. So Diddy, who was completely embraced by the establishment, I mean, he's super. I wonder what his net worth is, right? Hey, Suri, how much is Diddy worth? $900 million. He's as he's wow. as he's as rich as he, he could post bond in uh, New York City. Yeah, ha! he's as rich as Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. So they raided his house. Did he? Ho his homes were raided in the United States to kick off the week, but the guy's own private jet is miles away in a completely different nation. Although it's unclear if he's aboard. TMZ has tracked his personal Love Air LLC jet. The well-known black Gulfstream 5 that Diddy has flaunted and flown for years now. And it looks like the aircraft is currently on the ground in Antigua, which is down in the Caribbean. I want to take you down to Kokomo. <laughs> based on the flight activity viewed by... You're making T this a feel-good story. I like that. <laughs> based on the flight activity viewed by TMZ, Diddy's jet has been up and down. So he, I guess he's under... Well, I don't... Uh, this I haven't read this. I'm reading this with you. This got just got made. My producer just sent it to me. Diddy's jet has been up and down California between Sunday and Monday, taking off from Sacramento Executive Airport Sunday evening around 5.30 p.m. Pacific time and landing in Palm Springs International Airport about an hour later. An hour after that, around 7.30 p.m., Diddy's jet took off from Palm Springs yet again and landed at Van Nuys Airport, which is right down the street from uh, here in the valley, right out from us. Uh, and that was about 30 minutes later, around 8 p.m. And around 9 p.m. Monday, the jet took off from Van Nuys Airport and landed at some point in Antigua. Jamaica, ooh, I want to take you. Key Largo, Montego, baby, why don't we, Where go? we go? The plane is currently grounded there, although the flight data has yet to update and register him as having officially landed. In any case, it's definitely Diddy's jet. There's no question about that. The only thing that remains unanswered is whether Diddy is on that plane. We don't have any evidence he is at this point, and we also don't know what's happening on the scene. As we reported, two of Diddy's homes in L.A. and Miami were swarmed by federal law enforcement agencies on Monday. And so that's, that's today, right? And armed officials stormed the properties, taking some people into custody, including his sons, Justin and King. Unclear if any arrests took place. The raids are believed to have stemmed from accusations hurled at Diddy in multiple lawsuits, which have touched on alleged human and sex trafficking, among other claims, all of which he's vehemently denied. Wow. So he's accused of trafficking humans and sex trafficking. Here's from Entertainment. Sean Diddy Combs homes raided by federal agents in wake of sex trafficking allegations. According to the Associated Press, citing two unspecified law enforcement officials, the searches were carried out as part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation by the feds in New York. The rapper, producer, and entrepreneur's public image has come under intense scrutiny in recent months amid allegations of rape, sex trafficking, and other abuses. In November, he was sued by R&B singer Cassie, a.k.a. Cassandra Ventura, a longtime romantic partner who alleged that he sexually assaulted her and subjected her to years of controlling behavior and physical abuse. Combs denied the allegations, and he and Ventura reached a settlement one day later. Since then, the several more lawsuits have been filed against Combs. In February, a music producer filed a lawsuit alleging Combs coerced him to solicit prostitutes and pressured him to have sex with them. Oh, come. That, that seems weak. Uh, Combs attorney Sean Holly has said of those allegations that we have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. So I'm not saying that, but that he pressured him to have sex. What? What, what does that mean? Combs' former protege and girlfriend, the R&B singer Cassie, sued him in November, alleging years of sexual abuse, including rape. The lawsuit said he forced her to have sex with male prostitutes while he filmed them. Are you kidding? The suit was settled the day after it was filed. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you, Keaton, that the suit was, was settled the day after it was filed? Oh, um... 
Well, I'll tell you what it tells me. You put the lime in the coconut <laughs> and mix it. <laughs> <laughs> it tells me that Diddy wanted you? to settle that. <laughs> to volley back. What? It tells me that Diddy wanted to settle that. He said right, it, he didn't drag go. it out. He didn't want it being dragged out. He didn't want the details to come out. He certainly didn't want it to go to court. So he settled it immediately. The day, the next day, there was no back and forth. Uh, another of Combs' accusers was a woman who said the rap producer raped her. Two decades ago when she was 17. That's 20 years ago. That's a long time ago. Combs had said in a December statement, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. Douglas Wigder, an attorney who represents Cassie and another woman who sued Combs, said in a statement Monday, hopefully this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Um, so there you go. That's what's going on with Diddy. And I wonder if he's on that jet. I bet he is. My bet is he's on that jet. What is, what's your bet, Keaton? Yeah, I would, I would think so. I would think so. You know, it's hard. I mean, this just fell in our lap, obviously. Um, but you know, like, I, I don't understand. I mean, you know, they say like when you get addicted to porn, you have to watch more and more aggressive porn in order to get off. Right. Because you get desensitized to it. Yeah. That must be the way it is with like some celebrities and sex. Like, well, you got to get like, is it not enough to just be able to get laid whenever you want? Whenever you want. Yeah. Whenever you want. You whenever, can get laid whenever you, want. you want. What do you got to do this crazy shit? For? I don't understand. Like, what do you got to get involved with this for? I don't understand that. It must be that. It must be once you are used to getting laid whenever you want for decades, uh, that the, doesn't do it for you. Yeah, anymore. the thrill wears off. It must off. be it. The thrill must wear off. It must. It must. Because I can't imagine being in a spot like that and thinking, yeah, you know what? I got to, what, what did he say? I got to coerce my lawyer into having sex with a person. Like, what the hell do you care? Like, why, why would you I, want, it's why, a, why yeah. would you want to coerce your girlfriend into having sex with someone else? What the hell? Like that's a yeah. Malcolm states that the allegations are that his house are filled with cameras that he used to record drug fueled parties and then use the footage to blackmail other rap artists. Many of the alleged sexual encounters were same sex, which is a no, no in the hip hop community. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. I heard Yeah, I, you know what I did hear. Was it, who was that comedian that was on Joe Rogan, the um, the black comedian? Uh, why am I blanking on his name? He's very famous. Cat Williams. Didn't he say something like this about Diddy? Somebody said something about him do, having cameras in the house and using it. I, I, didn't, I only saw parts of it. But anyway, somebody, I've heard, yeah, that, what you just said, I've heard that. That he had cameras in his house. And it was like it's, people had referred to it as like some kind of Epstein thing. Yeah. Have you heard that, Keaton? Mm. I have not, no. Some people are saying Puffstein. 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 Puffstein? Oh, instead of Epstein, Puffstein. What, a, what, a, what? That's just, just so exactly what you're saying. So wild. So weird. You could have sex yeah. at any time, anywhere. There'll be a line of women. And he, 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 I, it's just weird to me. Hey, come see us do a live stand up show. We're going to be in Stockholm, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, London, Oslo, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, Cortland, New York, Oakmont, Pennsylvania, El Paso, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, Edmonton, Alberta, Vancouver, Jeez. British Columbia, and Denver, Colorado. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for those tickets. Mm -hmm.